Yo, my name is Kalen, and uh, if you're watching this, this is a how-to. How to use my memo piano. It's a Ableton rack that I put together uh, over the last month or so. I had the opportunity of playing in Austin, Texas, and they had a, a upright chilling in the room that I was sitting in. I was like a green room. And I was able to play this piano for a bit, and I thought, yo, it'd be great to actually sample this thing. So without further ado, this is how Memo Piano works. So this right here uh, is a 88 key uh, upright piano that was sitting in the room and I sampled it note for note. So and this is actually sensitive too. Essentially what you have along with this thing is uh, a simple ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustain, release, attack, which is the parameter that controls how fast the note hits. So this versus something that swells in, in the decay post uh, attack, like the initial hit that decays right after it, it goes straight to the, the sustain. And the sustain is the amount of volume that kind of, you know, sustains itself. Uh, and then release about the amount of time that it takes for the note to fade away. So after release, you have a couple uh, extra knobs that kind of customize the, the, the tone or the sound within the actual piano itself. You have a format knob. Format is like built within the machine itself. So this is what, what it does. As well, you have spread. It takes that stereo width and kind of emulates it. And if you want to really crank it, it makes that thing really like honky tonk, you know. <laughs> and so, memo. I thought, what would be great if, what if, what if there was a looping mechanism that you could control inside the machine. So this division knob over here controls the amount of beats that it, the memo knob holds. It loops it. Now watch this, watch the division. Yeah, and you can just mess with it. It's built within the actual thing, and the way that works is throw a little delay with infinity, and you got you got a crazy looping back mechanism. But you can play on top of that too. Just like that. And what's crazy is this as well. Let's say you want to like re-record that again. Um, now this is a crazy mechanism as well. <coughs> what if you wanted to change the tempo and change the actual pitch of it? Watch this. Just go to tempo right here and then take the tempo and put it down. I hope that, uh, hope that explains it and um, yeah. There's thousands of different combinations you can make just with that alone. Memo Piano, available now everywhere. Check out my Gumroad page and it has full of different tools and different ideas. Uh, and if you guys want more of this, like, comment, subscribe, and um, don't force the funk. Don't force the funk!